Greetings, hope you're doing well. Today I'm doing a quick review of the new Future Islands record titled As Long As You Are. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy the video. This is the newest album from Baltimore synth pop outfit who have been at it for quite a while. The group is known for their soft, lithe synth compositions along with bard-like vocals, sweet melodies, and a songwriting knack to juxtapose the bright and ebullient production with melancholic lyrics. Now, they have never really wowed me with a record of theirs. I can't say what my favorite album or project of theirs is because I find them to lack that certain it factor to keep me coming back and wanting more but i always come away from their albums enjoying them and that is a result of the group just staying in their comfort zone not really taking a whole lot of risks or challenging themselves and that is the case on this new album as well if you are big into future island sound they honestly don't miss a beat here the album sound palette is made up of soft synthesizers a lot of slow and thoughtful grooves and rhythms and a good level of restraint to keep the tracks from needlessly permeating and growing for the sake of like cinematic value the best example of that here is the track city's face which is a bittersweet reflection of how someone's love for a city or a place degrades over time and develops into hatred as we grow older i found the songwriting to be really sharp i really appreciate the progression of the track de-escalating its sound as it goes on to focus on herring's heartfelt vocals it is my favorite track on here i like the mix of funky bass lines and the silential synthscapes on the track born in a war it serves as a great backdrop to the song's lyrics about violence I Knew You has an element of like shimmering embrace of the fact that people see each other as segmented versions of their past and future selves. I like the forlorn electric horns or synth lines on the track Thrill. Ba -dum -bum -ba. These are the most notable highlights for me, but I also enjoyed Glada, the waiting moonlight, and the closer hit the coast I thought was a solid way to end off the album. However, there were a handful of tracks I did not come to enjoy all that much. For how garish the track for sure is, I didn't find it to be engaging enough on subsequent listens it kind of just lacked substance the track waking didn't have that much of an impression on me i thought it was running itself in circles it really did not have a strong foundation it just sounds like it goes and goes on and on and on before it just suddenly ends the painter has vestiges of an edm track with the fluffy tropical drum rhythms but the vocals just mosey around on this track they're just really really flat and plastic beach while i like the sentiment of like loving yourself and thinking of life in the future uh the reinforcing groove of it never sat well with me not to mention i found the lyrics to be really surface level which i think it's saying something it tries to be a very succinct song but just fails at it i enjoyed a decent chunk of the record this is just deja vu for me however uh, and anytime i listen to a future islands record in that matter i think it's an enjoyable album but it just does not have that special sauce that defining characteristic about it where i can use it to differentiate it amongst other future island records but like i said if you like future islands more than likely you'll dig this those are my thoughts what are yours let me know down below and i will see you on the next video i'd give it a